What's your carnal theory? Hi, everybody. I'm Ava. And I'm Amanda. And today on Carnal Theory, we're sitting down with Peekaboo Collins, a sex positive blogger and the author of the erotic short story series, Monogamy with Treats, as well as Glitch, a collection of poetry and prose. Peekaboo is known for her enthusiastic consent and sex positive erotica that encourages healthy, pleasurable, and expressive experiences. Peekaboo, we're so excited to have a chance to chat with you. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much, you guys. So Peekaboo, can you tell us what you've brought for us today to ponder upon? Yes. Uh, my carnal theory is that people are generally more kinky than they allow themselves to believe or are willing to admit to either themselves or to others. Can you lay down the difference between kink and fetish? Yes. Um, so my kind of differentiation is that a kink is something that more or less enhances an experience, um, whereas a fetish is more something that someone needs in order to get off. So if you've ever met, for example, a foot fetish, like someone with a foot fetish, they, need, they generally need that and they sort of center their experiences and their, their whole you know, goals around the foot fetish. So once, to me, you know, once you have established that you have a fetish, it's very hard to kind of go back and just have you know, sex or an experience without that included. Whereas a kink is something that either enhances an experience, it's something that you might just enjoy. They're, they're, I, I believe they're more fluid. Um, so you can have different ones, they can change, perhaps with partners or as you grow. Um, yeah, so. How do you see um, like erotica being a means of like interacting with your own kinks? Like does it, ex expose them to you do you think does it give you a space to access them um does it make it feel more kinky etc like yeah i think that um especially reading erotica it's a very it, you do have that space and i feel like because it is more of a personal and private experience um you know you're reading you don't necessarily need to share what it is you don't necessarily need to talk to anyone or you know, no one needs to know what you're reading. You have that safe space in order to look for and kind of educate yourself on exactly what it is that you want. And because it is, you know, generally fiction, you know, there's a kind of an extra layer of, well, this is not really real. And so, you know, let me kind of go there. And it's, I think, yeah, it's, uh, you're able to go into a deep part of yourself through the eyes of other people. How could we explore, like, Back to your theory, if we have these hidden or not outwardly shared desires in us, how do you think are good ways to explore that? Um, you mean through erotica? Yeah. I mean, I think that keywords, <laughs> in the day of the internet, you know, we have keywords and so you can actually see you know, the description of what might be in the story um, much clearer than just kind of browsing a bookstore. Um, so I think that uh, both audio erotica and just, you know, books, ebooks, everything, they're just, they're a lot more um, accessible, I guess, I keep using that word, but they're, yeah, I mean, you can, you can literally kind of go down a rabbit hole of a certain author and see, you know, if that's the one for them, you know, or even like with my books, like I focus a lot on non-monogamy. And so if that's something that you're interested in, you can pick up one of my books, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I think that, you know, just the keywords and searching for something, starting maybe a little bit more vanilla if you're just getting into it. And, you know, it really, it's a journey. So it'll, you know, if you allow it to, it'll take you on it. <laughs> yeah, like maybe it's like ASMR or something that you start with and yeah slowly dip in deeper thank you so much for coming and, and joining us today peekaboo can you say again uh share again the theory that you've brought yes it is um that people are generally more kinky than they allow themselves to believe 
or are willing to admit to themselves or others. Cool. So I'm curious from our listeners, feel free to chime in if when you heard that from the, from the top of the show and then hear it again at the end, if any of your perceptions have changed. Peekaboo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Uh, we hope this episode has given you something further to reflect upon. And definitely, as Eva said, reach out if you feel you found any insights. If you have any questions, you can do so on our Instagram page at Carnal Theory. And please check out Peekaboo's work. Um, you can go to peekaboocollins.com or follow her on all platforms at Peekaboo Collins. And her books are available for purchase now on Amazon. Thank you. Carnal Theory is produced by My Sex Bio. Our sound design is by Audrey Cohane, and our theme music by Men the Universe. My Sex Bio is an educational platform built to empower people like you to take command of your sexual biography. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube, and Spotify at My Sex Bio. Visit our website and join our e-letter at mysexbio.org and support our work by joining our Patreon. Thank you.